Hello, everybody. Welcome to the ninth annual Commodore Vegas Expo. Sorry for the overcrowding of the room. It looks like everybody brought the kitchen sink with them. So, uh, <laughs> some people are saying we should try and get a bigger room next year. I agree. But of course, I have to ask about how much money that will cost. Because I keep thinking the next level up is around the $1,500 mark for two days. So when Kelly shows up tomorrow, Kelly from the Plaza Hotel shows up tomorrow, I'll ask her about it. So, uh, $10.50 for two days. So five hundred more? Yes. I think that's the next level up. And I, I'd have to show, I'd have to see what the size room. So uh, enjoy yourselves. I think our first presentation is coming up at 11.30. And also, uh, I'll tell you more about what's on the tables in a few minutes. Our attendance person is here. He can now take your money now. There Please take go. my money. Thank you very much. Okay. Enjoy yourselves. First presentation of the day. Right. Yay! It's uh, Chris Zimmerman, all the way from Salt Lake City, Utah. He's going to talk about text converter to whatever it's called. 22. <laughs> 22. So, so pay attention, uh, or if you do have to discuss, keep your voices low. Here we go. Go ahead, Chris. Thank you. I'd like to thank everybody here for this wonderful program which we have for those for the powers that be <laughs> and most importantly I, I need to thank my family and for their support a um, little introduction I am my name is Chris Zimmerman I have been an avid Commodore fan since the days of when Commodore ruled um, I have been basically laying low, kind of quiet for the last few years, so that's probably why nobody knows who I am. Um, I decided lately that now it's time for me to become a little more involved, to show and to share some of the things which I feel I can be a, a contributing factor to with Commodore. Um, the subject that I want to go over is a little program which I created, this was just a little hobby, something for me to do while I was copying files from the Commodores to my IBMs and back. I wanted to be able to convert the Commodore text into a straight ASCII file, but I also wanted to be able to access my WordWriter 5 disks. So this is what I, I came up with. Um, this is my first real foray into the Visual Basic side of programming. So. It is not perfect, but it is certainly a usable tool. Uh, the first thing that I want to introduce is the main screen. Uh, it's, it's divided into the two parts. We have the pet ASCII side. This is where all of the Commodore text is, is placed. And then there's the ASCII side on the left. Um, I can transfer, I can convert from either window back and forth. So I'm going to do a, a quick uh, demonstration of how this works. So I go to over here to open a pet ASCII sequential file, and I click this button, and it's going to come up, and, and it will search for everything which I have given an SEQ file extension. Um, this tells me that it's a Commodore file. So I have in, in my folder here several uh, test uh, files, and I want to start out with when it was PAL, this is this is one of the files I downloaded off the internet, the manual. I think it was um, what do they call that? Oh, I can't remember the name. Anyway, the preservation project. That's right, the preservation project. So I, I took some of that and divided it. But here's how it works. I'm going to click the file, and I'm going to click done, and that will convert the file. That will send the file over to uh, the right screen. Now to convert it. I have two buttons. This one goes this way, and this one signifies that everything here goes that way. So we'll, as you can see, you can see the uh, Commodore text, and I will click this one and transfer it over. So you see the scroll bar changing its size? Mm. That, that's a good indication that the computer's working on it, it's processing. Uh, the larger the files, the longer it's going to take, and it can take some 10, 
15 minutes for a 32K file. 32K is the file size limitation um, until I figure out how to access and process larger files. So we'll give this a minute. Um, as this is processing, I'll just go a little more over the screen. Over here, this indicates the number of bytes which are in this window. And it's a little difficult to see here. But this says 20,434 bytes. So that's the, the size of this particular file we're accessing. So we'll go ahead and give it a minute to process. Uh, I have tried this. this. This particular computer I'm using right now is Windows 98. But I have tried it on XP and Windows 7. So I know that they work for those computers, for, the, for those operating systems. On the bottom, we have the buttons which are respective to the screen. So we can open a, a, an ASCII file, and we can save whatever is in the screen. I can even go in and I can type out something and save it or convert it. I can open up another program, let's say WordPad, and I can copy and paste into the ASCII field, and I can convert it to Commodore. Um, I have three buttons here for clearing text. I can clear each respective pane or both. Or if I need to reset the number of characters to make sure, um, I can click on number of characters and it will reset these little windows here. Um, when I get to when I get to that point, I'm gonna there's a, a box here where I need to check. If I want to convert my Word Writer files or uh, paper, Paperclip 3. So far, those are the only word processors that I've taken time to work with. Um, with Word, Word Writer, you know, they have the text mode and the, the font mode. Um, I only worked with the text mode, so I haven't even tried the font mode for conversion yet. Okay, so it, here it is. We have our text, which is now converted. So if you look on the right, you can tell the differences. This is now a fully readable file. And if I want to, I can bring up whatever word processor. And I can select whatever I want and do the copy paste. And voila, I can do whatever I want with it. I'm going to clear all the text, and let's. I'm going to open up a, a Word Writer file. Now, when I save the files, I put a WW5 extension to them, and this can tell the software that this is a Word Writer 5 file. So now, notice that as, as I click this little checkbox, it changes the button over here. If it's not checked, it will say PEDASCII sequential. If it's checked, then it will say Commodore document, which signifies word processor. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on Word Writer 5, and that will change the file extensions and show everything with the Word Writer 5. Now I have a Robert Bernardo one here. Oh, no. Good grief. I'm going to demonstrate. So. Heck. <laughs> I'm going to click Done. Now it has to process. This takes a little bit longer because of the, the code that I had to go through. It's kind of screwball. But I was able to figure it out, and we just have to give it time. We'll, we'll wait a little hour glass here. So have you noticed a speed increase with a faster computer, like modern quad-core processor, etc.? I haven't done a speed test on it, but I'm, I'm sure that it will make a difference. Uh, this is only a penny 600. And I'm sure if you get a, a two or three gigahertz processor, yeah, you should be, you should see the speed increase. Now I've listed some other processors down here to choose from, but that those currently are non-functional except for paperclip. Um, I put PC3. I designated that file extension as a paperclip three file. Uh, the editor of our newsletter would greatly like the GeoWrite. Uh, part to work if you ever get that functioning. Part. That's yeah, that's the it's 
as you've noticed, I did have a spot for GeoWrite. It's on my mind, but oh. it just depends on the time. Uh -huh. Okay, I have, I have converted the text over. It's, it won't keep any of the format, but it will bring all the text in to the text to the ASCII side. And then from here, I can select all, copy, go to my, it, now this can be your word processor of choice, and paste it. And then from here, I can do whatever I want with it. So that is a quick rundown of my little Text Convert 32 program. Um, this is this also works well with if you're using Vice, because I, I I do go in a lot and I, I do play with WordWriter on Vice and I will save the files and I will use this Dur Master program to copy the files over where I can get to them. This is highly recommended if you guys don't have this and you like to use Vice. This is a good program. I'd recommend it too. How long have you been working on this program, Chris? This particular program, it's probably been a year now. Oh, so very it's, young. It's just been a little, a little project that I've been tinkering with. But the last few months, probably five or six months, is when I really hit it hard. And it's all done in Visual Basic? Visual Basic 6. Mm. So I did this. <clears throat> I do charge a small fee for it, for the full version. You, it's a shareware fee? There is a shareware I do have out, and you, you're free to download it. I have it on my website, CommodoreMan.com. Just follow the links, and you can download that one, and it's, it's limited to, to 1K. But the full version will handle, handle 32. And uh, the shareware that's... Is the fee for the shareware, what is that? For well, it'll, it'll be $10 because okay. you're buying the full program. Oh, and the full program is $10? Yes. Oh, okay. So share, there's a shareware program out there to, to test it. If you want to see how it works, uh, give it a run. Uh, do we have any questions? Is there anybody who... Any other questions? Oh, we have yes. one. You. Word, Word, Word Writer 5 is, is more advanced than the, the other ones, right? Not necessarily. It's... It's a it's a comparable word processor. I don't think it's as advanced as Geos, but it's it's quite equivalent to the other brands' fleet systems. This is the basic for Commodore, right? Pardon me. This is the basic word processing program for Commodore. Yes. Okay. It's word Writer Five. I word, remember word, there, there it, it, four. it went all the way up to Word Writer Six. Six, oh. Six was the latest version. Okay, fine. Um, I haven't. I have not tested it out with with any of the other versions, but I'm I'm pretty sure that it it'll work. Okay. That's good. Any other questions, Tim? Were you waving over here? <laughs> no, wait. Tim was okay, not. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you very much, Chris. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.